Hi, uh, yes, um, I just did uh, the first tutorial on how to hook up an Arduino, well at least the Atmega 328P chip in a standalone circuit um, outside of Arduino. And um, like I said in that video, I'm doing another tutorial, but this time to show how you can actually program your sketches into uh, one of these chips um, without putting it into the Arduino directly. Actually, in fact, using your Arduino as um, an ISP, so that way um, you can program your chip in circuit. That's very convenient and it's less wear and tear on the, the legs or the pins of your um, microcontroller. Anyhow, um, this is where we left off in the first tutorial if you watched that, um, with the bolts driggler and everything. Now, since we're going to be doing this powered by the Arduino. We can just disconnect the lines that go to the voltage regulator, and um, because this is all going to be powered by the external supply. Now, in the first video, um, I loaded this with the regular Blink program, but we're going to modify that to use Digital Pin 12 instead of Digital Pin 13. So, um, what I'll do here is I'll just uh, change the resistor to pin 12 instead of pin 13 um, because we're going to modify the program. That's how I'm going to demonstrate how this works. Um, so we have this here and um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start connecting the relevant um, wires from the Arduino itself to our circuit. Um, there's six wires that go into there. The first is going to be ground. This is the ground for our power supply, so you hook that into one of the grounds on your Arduino. And oh, this thing likes to move, and that's one of the problems with it. And you can hook that into the ground the power supply here. Um, the second one is, of course, the um, VCC, or the 5 volts out, which is on the Arduino into our um, positive rail, our VCC power rail. Okay, so we have two out of the six done. Um, the next is um, we're going to hook the reset pin, which on the Arduino, that's the um, digital pin 10. Okay, digital pin 10. And then, of course, as you know from the first tutorial, the reset pin on the actual chip is uh, pin 1. Now, we have the resistor here, so but uh, here's a thing, and I, I learned this from experience. It won't work right, well at least if you later when we try to uh, burn bootloaders, it won't work right if you put uh, the wire after the leg of the resistor. You actually have to move the resistor back and then put it before the resistor, so it has to be sandwiched in between the resistor pin and the actual pin 1 to work correctly. Important note. <laughs> um, now, um, the fourth that we're going to do is the um, MOSI, which uh, MOSI, it stands for Master Out Slave In. This is on digital pin 11 on the Arduino, and it's going to go in to uh, the MOSI on the Arduino, which is number 17. There we go there. Then we're going to do the MISO, M-I-S-O, which is Master In Slave Out. That's digital pin 12 on the Arduino. Wow, you're stubborn, aren't you? Okay, that's it. All right, and then that's going to go into the MISO on the board, which is pin 18. And then finally, we're going to do, I call it SICK, uh, S-C-K, it's the um, serial clock. That is digital pin 13 on the Arduino. And an actual pin, that is um, 
10, 19 on here. Okay. So that um, hooks that up. Now we can give our USB power to our Arduino. And heard that noise. And then, so that's what we do with that. And then we'll come over here to the computer. And, um, well, this is the Blink program, but what you're going to want to do first is under your sketchbook, uh, and actually the examples, you're going to go to Arduino ISP, and you have the Arduino ISP here, and then you're going to want to upload that to your Arduino. So it's compiling sketch. This allows your Arduino to work as an ISP. So that way you can use it as a programmer. Essentially. Okay, so that loaded with no errors. So we can close that out. And uh, with this blink, I'm going to modify it. The LED, instead of uh, digital pin 13, I'm going to switch it to digital pin 12. And um, just so you know it works, I'll switch the delay from the second that we had before to half a second, 500 milliseconds. And uh, we'll verify that. It's good. And then, um, so what we're going to do now to get it on here is we're going to click file and then we're going to click upload using programmer. Oh, well, let's make sure first of all that we have this all set. Um, under the board, it's Arduino Uno. And the programmer should be checked as Arduino as ISP. And so since that's the case, now we can go to upload using programmer. And that'll make it to where it'll pass through the Arduino into our in circuit. So we'll click on that. And then we'll come back over to this. And as you see, it uploaded, and there we go. Um, so that's how you use the Arduino as an ISP or a programmer to program your other chips in circuit. Now, the things to be aware of is that you do have to have two separate chips minimum to do this, because obviously you have to have a, um, a chip in the... Arduino, and then you also have a chip and circuit. Another thing to be aware of is this same method can be used to um, burn a bootloader on a fresh new chip. Um, really, there's only um, a couple, maybe even just one extra step, perhaps, that needs to be done. And um, I can make a video about that, or maybe, actually, I'll, I'll just explain it right now, honestly. Um, uh, back over here to the computer. What you would do after you already have your Arduino um, set as an ISP and all, all of these pins hooked up is you would just go to tools and then down to burn bootloader and, um, and then it'll start burning the bootloader and then we can watch that see how it's going crazy right there that LED and um, it'll finish here in a minute. It says this will take a minute, so I'll take its word for it. And um, it says done burning bootloader, and it said no errors. Now I've done this before, so I know that there there is no errors with that. Um, like I said, the issue with the, the reset pin is very important because the first time I burned a bootloader, um, the, 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 the pin went in after the leg of the resistor and then it didn't tell me there was anything wrong at first, but then when I put it into the Arduino and tried to upload a sketch directly to the chip, it had a um, not in sync um, RESP um, zero, zero error. And so I was like, well, what's wrong? And then I discovered that it was because you actually have to have it before the resistor. And um, so that's it. And that's, that's how we got it. Thank you.